In October 1961, the Soviet Union dropped the most powerful nuclear bomb, equivalent to 58 megatons of TNT. The resulting damage was more than 160 kilometers away. The flash from the blast could be seen from 1,000 kilometers away. This is the world's largest nuclear device ever created and tested, the Tsar Bomba, the Emperor of the Bombs. During World War II, the United States detonated two atomic bombs over the Japanese cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. That marked the first use of nuclear weapons in war. Tens of thousands were killed in the initial explosions, and many more would later succumb to radiation poisoning. Since then, the world has recognized the terror and destruction of atomic weapons. The bomb on Hiroshima, the little boy, released an energy equivalent of 15,000 tons of TNT. Fat Man, the Nagasaki bomb, released an energy equivalent of 21,000 tons of TNT. The Tsar Bomba was equivalent to 58 megatons of TNT. The Tsar Bomba was an aerial hydrogen bomb known as a thermonuclear weapon. The bomb was 8 meters long, had a diameter of nearly 2.6 meters, and a weight of more than 27 tons, the weight of five elephants. Inside the weapon. A small atomic bomb is shaped like a sphere at the top of the casing. The top of the sphere contains conventional chemical explosives surrounding a sphere of the beryllium mirror casing, inside of which is a small plutonium sphere about four to six inches in diameter. Below this atomic bomb is the hydrogen or fusion bomb. It consists of a cylinder made of uranium. The fuel for the fusion reaction, lithium deuteride, at the core of the cylinder sits a road of plutonium. In between the fission and the fusion is an encasing made of styrofoam. A Tu-95V bomber was modified to carry the weapon. It was so big it couldn't even fit in the internal fuselage of the enormous plane. The bomb was mounted on the outside of the aircraft. The plane was painted brightly white to lessen the impact of the megabomb flash. The aircraft, piloted by Andrei Dernavtsev, took off from the Kola Peninsula. It was joined by an observer plane to measure the impact of the bomb. At approximately 11.32 a.m. Moscow time, Tsar Bomba was dropped over the Mityushika Bay test site on the deserted island of Novaya Zemlya. The bomb was equipped with a special parachute that would slow its fall allowing the plane to fly a safe distance from the blast. Barometric sensors set the bomb to detonate four kilometers above the ground. The barometric sensor detects the final altitude. 32 bridge wire detonators release an electric spark to detonate the chemical bomb. The chemical bomb detonation causes compression inside the plutonium and releases bursts of neutrons. One atom of plutonium is hit by a neutron, splits into two, and releases energy, producing two or three additional neutrons. Each of these goes on to react or split other plutonium atoms, thus maintaining a chain reaction that produces a high level of heat, higher than even that at the center of our sun, 100 million degrees Celsius. The center of the sun is 15 million degrees Celsius. The temperature results in an atomic explosion. The fission explosion creates high energy gamma rays and X-rays, which heat up the styrofoam and turns it into plasma. The heat and pressure of the plasma compress the fusion cylinder, causing the lithium deuteride to react. 
This compresses the fusion cylinder, causing the lithium deuteride to react and form helium and more neutrons. The neutrons cause the uranium casing and plutonium rod to undergo more fission reactions. This causes more pressure on lithium deuteride. This produces more fusion, which releases more neutrons, which causes more fission. The positive feedback loop fission-fusion reaction goes back and forth until a huge explosion occurs, ripping everything apart. Amazingly, all these events happen in only 600 billionths of a second. That produced a mushroom cloud more than 60 kilometers high. The resulting damage was equally massive. And buildings more than 160 kilometers away were reportedly damaged. In addition, it was estimated that heat from the blast would have caused third-degree burns up to 100 kilometers distant. Despite its incredible destructive power, the Tsar Bomba was never actually used in combat. It was designed as a warning to the West during the Cold War and served its purpose well. The Tsar Bomba showed everyone just how destructive nuclear weapons can be and served as a reminder of the devastation that could be caused if they were ever used in war. If you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button and the bell so you're notified when I make a new video. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned a lot, and I will see you next time.